I'm Tom Romito from the Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society, and I'm here at the office of the Cleveland International Film Festival with its associate director, Patrick Shepard. Now, the reason I'm here is to talk to Patrick about our role as a community partner with a film in the Cleveland International Film Festival. So, Patrick, uh, turning to you, please tell me and our listening audience how you got involved with the film festival. Oh, gosh, Tom, this, this is my 18th film festival this year. My first one was uh, the 23rd Cleveland International Film Festival back in 1999. And my first three years were as uh, a seasonal staffer. Um, and these days we have about 300 seasonal staffers, but it was a lot smaller back then because our attendance uh, and our size was a lot uh, smaller uh, at the time. Um, but uh, after that third year, I joined the the staff full time in 2001 as development director, and ultimately became associate director. Well, Patrick, please tell us what is the single goal of the film festival? Oh well, we strive to present the newest and best films from around the world and try to help our audience learn something along the way. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means that the main two. Parts of our mission is exhibition of film and education. Um, and uh, uh, film is such an accessible art form. Most people are, are interested in film in some way, shape, or form. Even if you don't go to a movie theater, you might be watching something on Netflix at home. Um, and uh, the films that we present are primarily under the commercial radar. You won't recognize necessarily director names or actor names or the like, but but it's amazing because what makes the festival special is that we welcome on an average of 300 filmmakers to Cleveland that are here to engage the audiences at the festival. And Cleveland audiences are just so uh, excited to ask questions and talk to these, these filmmakers because for them, they, they are celebrities to our audience. Well, thanks, Patrick. Now, as I mentioned, Western Cuyahoga Audubon Society mm -hmm. is partnering with a film. This one happens to be the film called Oddball. Please tell us uh, why it, it's important to you, the film festival, that you have community partners like us. Well, thank you. And, and, and your organization has been supportive for so many years, and we're so grateful for that. Um, we do have a community engagement program. Uh, the intent of this program is to connect the, the film festival to the community across northern Ohio. And from our end of things, we're just looking to reach new audiences, to engage new people. And the great thing about film is there's so many different threads of topics and themes that can be found in those films that they often match or connect with the missions of these various nonprofit organizations. And this year we have over 160 nonprofits again, as we, we've had for the last couple of years. And what we really try to do is make it a mutually beneficial partnership. So while we're connecting with the constituency of organizations like yours, uh, we're offering a platform for organizations like yours to promote themselves, not only visible in festival materials, but visible at the festival, part of the pre-film introductions uh, of the audience. Uh, so hopefully that helps broaden your appeal and, and, and broaden the knowledge of people about your organization as well. So we, we do everything we can to, to raise the visibility and, and, and support our various organizations. There are certain years when, and it doesn't happen every year, because we while we do have 300 filmmakers that come in uh, to the festival, we can't for a variety of different reasons, one, financial, and two, people's schedules. We're not able to get filmmakers for every film. But every once in a while, there'll be a film that a partner will uh, connect with the filmmaker in advance and sometimes they'll uh, uh, do some type of activity while the filmmaker is in town. It changes from year to year. Um, so we just do whatever we can to uh, engage what we call cinema synergy, where there's a connection with the partner and the film and the filmmaker. When I come to one of the showings of my film this year, Patrick, I'll be giving uh, 60 seconds worth of discussion mm -hmm. to the audience, I call it my 60 seconds of fame, <laughs> in which I will ha be able to impart anything that I want to about my organization right. or how we might connect with this film. 
What do you think audiences would like to hear most from the rep, organizational rep in that 60 seconds? Yeah, we actually call that an elevator speech. Uh, and that's you just have a very limited amount of time to tell people what your organization is all about and engage them in some way. So I think talking about your activities and maybe there's a, a planned event or meetup that's happening in the next month or so, inviting the audiences to join for that. I mean, we do have a table outside the auditorium where materials are, so if people are interested, they can pick up some materials for the organization. Um, and, of course, websites in, in the digital era, uh, a lot of people uh, uh, use that. So that's why we link um, our website to all of the organizations that have websites um, as it relates to community partners. Tell me, uh, Patrick, you've talked about the goal. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in knowing what obstacles you feel are standing in your way of fully achieving your goal? Well, uh, I mean, being a nonprofit organization, funding is, is among the primary uh, issues that we uh, address every year. Um, our organization has grown uh, quite a bit. The attendance last year topped 100,000. Um, and while our attendance has tripled in the last 15 years, our budget has quadrupled. So we always have, we're always in, in search of new or increased funding from uh, various sources uh, throughout the region. Um, and we're lucky that the, uh, the community is so supportive. It just, you know, it, you, when you have to raise $3.1 million, uh, and this year we started from zero again, and I, I think we're going to make it, but it's, it, you know, funding is, it, it's, it's a significant component for event production like a film festival. Could you share with us some of the techniques you're using to overcome that obstacle and, and raise funds? Well, it's to us, it's all about relationship building. So oftentimes finding somebody to serve on your board of directors that has a connection in some way. And, and as we always say, when we look for cash sponsorship, we're not just looking for an exchange of tickets for a check. We want to really deepen that relationship. So if there's, if there's a sponsor that really wants to engage you know, a law firm, for example, you know, one of the partners would be invited to join the board after, you know, there's a process, but uh, that that means that the, uh, the, the law firm has a much stronger connection to the organization because of the board involvement and the sponsorship. Well, thanks very much, Patrick. I'm looking forward to our showings, our two showings of Oddball this year, mm -hmm. and seeing more of your staff. So thanks very, very much for taking this time to talk. Uh, we're grateful for your support, and we'll see everybody March 30th or April 10th at Tower City Center.